Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to the Beast Inside. All right, we're back in what I believe is Nicholas's house in the basement. What's going on? Where's that voice coming from? Uh, that's a good question. I guess we'll find out here real shortly. <laughs> as soon as we struggle to turn over a small piece of furniture. Ugh. I know that old furniture was made of good wood and it was heavier than the cheap Ikea stuff we have today, but... Happening right now? It's still top heavy. You should be able to tip it over with a little less struggle than that. Oh. Adam! Oh! Adam! <gasps> Emma! Emma, are you here? Past and present are merging. Past and present are coming together. Remember how this game started? I must have lost my mind. We were hitting our wife in the face with an axe when this game started up. And we might be heading to that. Does he have a top hat on? Does the Russian spy have a top hat on? Are we just seeing a different version of him? Have we been terrorizing our own wife this whole time? We are both the spy and the code cracker. Is it real? Or is it just my imagination? Running away with me. I'm hearing things that don't exist. Ah, uh, you're seeing things that don't exist. Hearing is the least bit of your worries. Auditory hallucinations are an easier sell than visual hallucinations. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to trust your eyeballs. <gasps> There's a mirror here. Ooh. It's just like... <gasps> the Matrix. There's no coming back. Did we just climb through the looking glass? Are we Alice? We just merged past and present. Now we've got on leather clothes. Is that him in a chair? Like our wife is in a chair? It's over. You can't get away. Hear me. You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me why? He doesn't notice he's wearing the exact same clothes. Did you see there was a spare top hat on the table? We're talking to ourselves, homie. The question homie. is, why did you? You do it. He heard you, I know. And I opened your eyes, and then you saw your father's reflection in every human being. A world full of beasts in human disguises. No one was innocent. Evil was eating at their consciences like a cancer. And who do you think you are to decide if they deserve to die? They certainly didn't deserve to live. They just think about it. Your father's partner, that old crook, desperate to get rid of us. The detective, Whoa. vulture, feeding on the tragedy of commoners. Sophia, a miner's widow and a vicious Freddy Krueger. Everyone all the worst. And last but not least, the judge, a grafter, and a regular scoundrel. I've seen worse. Right, your father. A true role model for that small community. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them... I protected us, don't you see? I saved your life. Or maybe you're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me? In that fucking darkness. The old man would be pissing on your grave, and all of fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. 
The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread, and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you a lunatic. So what? There must be another way. Like what? You'll wash your hands of it all? You'll hide from humanity in a fucking cave? You'll fall back into madness like the last time? You'll tell the doctors you don't remember anything? Really? If you get rid of me, they'll squash you like a bug. You think you can just snap your fingers and I'll be gone? Oh, there's one less piece of glass there. Accept your true nature. Deny the evil personality. Oh, I didn't know there was going to be a choice. Deny. Deny your evil. It's a little late, but we'll go ahead and do it now. You will be gone because you depend on me. Your actions were treacherous. You ruined my life, and I can't change that. So you'll become another victim. Hopefully the last one. Did we just kill ourselves? How are we doing today? That's a good question. What happened? Why am I in a hospital? Every day the same question. Which is reason enough to keep you here, isn't it? Not to mention all the rest. My, my, my wife, Emma, she... We're talking about you. Please, focus. Uh, Emma and I, we're expecting a baby. And some people are trying to... So far, your theories have not been confirmed. Theories? What theories? Concerning what happened in Blackstone, what happened to your wife, and what they have done. But I was there! They took photos of us, planted bugs. I've been asking you for months, but I'll ask you one more time. Who are they? Am I one of them? I don't know. Months! Did they tell you to brainwash me? They! Soviets, Ruskies, Commies, call them whatever you fucking want. There's a fucking war going on. Who in the service has talked to you? Maybe we could... Wait a minute. Who pays you, motherfucker? GRU? KGB? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I've talked to David. We've got Soviet agents in our ranks. Anyone could be a spy, even a close friend or a family member. So? Shh. Listen. Maybe all that she told me was a lie. KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to the Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? She won't admit it, but she won't fool me anymore. I'll do what I have to do. You forged a recording. What have, what have you done to my wife? Tell me, you phony. Who are you really? It's not you asking these questions. It's your illness. Your persecutory delusions make you question everything around you. At the moment, Try yes. Try to calm down and answer for yourself. Who are you? Adam or Nicholas, like you said the last time? Who am I talking to right now? Are you crazy? I know I had KGB on my heels. I've destroyed your relays. This isn't a fucking hospital. You want to get hold of the information I've got. That's all you care about. What information do you have? Nurse, the patient's conditions got worse again. Let's apply 400 volts. Oh, we just do it right here, huh? Not a special room? Okay. Ow! <laughs> Look, we put all the bugs together. We wrote our own notes. Yep. No, I told no, you. No, no, no. Good commitment, my man. I can remember now. Do you? Emma was a spy. I am sick. Oh, I am sick. Emma was innocent, and I thought she worked for the Soviets. 
I killed my wife. I killed her. Ah, finally we're making progress, Adam. Tell me everything once again, from the beginning. About your work and, uh... Adam? Adam is gone. Is Nicholas here? Or is Adam just gone? <laughs> ah! You know what? I'm going to skip this. And here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. I think, since that was so short... Uh-oh. What's happening here? What's happening here? This is the wall in the house that was bricked up. What? What's going on? Are we... What? Are we out of the hospital? This war is over. But there will be others. The end. What? I'm wondering if I shouldn't have skipped. Should I not have skipped the end? Did I miss something in the credits? Okay, what I wanted to do was... Since it was short, is let's see if we can hit the second path. Um, options. Credits. No, we can't! We can only start a new game! Ah, okay, well then let's do this. We're gonna let the credits run. I like these people to get their, their, their just reward. That was my fault. I apologize. I thought I would be able to, uh, go back in and, um, hit the second, hit the second ending, but you gotta play through it again. So, I, I was, like, right there until that. Like, what happened? Why did we go board up the wall, brick up the wall, and go back in like we were not in the hospital? Like they let us out? I don't know. That was weird. The last part threw me off. But, um, anyway. Rewind. I liked this one. Um, coming off of my admittedly not great experience with, um, Layers of Fear 2, this was a breath of fresh air. Uh, I liked, it, it's not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, and it, it might be benefiting some from my <laughs> direct comparison to the last one, um, but it had everything that you want out of a horror game. Um, we had, like, things taken out of our control, uh, controlling the light in certain areas, or having to sneak around from immensely powerful enemies that will kill you in one hit. Uh, we had actual monsters. We had um, cool set pieces um, where, where we did like the running and, and being chased and stuff like that. We had an actual story that made sense for the most part. Um, and, you know, you get to tear down and, and dig some problems out of it for sure. But overall, I understand the beginning, the middle, and the end. It all connects and makes sense and flows. Um, the obviously the twist. You can see from a, a mile away, but uh, that doesn't change the fact that it's still told a coherent story. So all of those things together make a pretty decent uh, horror game for me. And I had a couple of like scary tense moments as well, which we didn't really have at all in, in, the, in the last one. Um, yeah, so I don't want to I don't want to make all the praise on this about bagging on the on the other game. Um, I just really did enjoy this. I thought they did a pretty good job. It seems like a first effort kind of a game. I'm probably wrong about that. It's just the feeling that I get from it. Uh, but uh, I found it completely enjoyable. And uh, the fact that I did not see a dual ending, or maybe even four endings um, possible at the end, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. I didn't I didn't see that happening. Like we totally could have embraced the evil. We could have been like denied our insanity at the end. All of that makes for a much uh, more interesting. Um, theory as to what the actual ending was, like what the canon ending is, 
and uh, I'm going to have to look up those other endings. I don't know that I'm going to play through another, you know, however many hours to, to see it again, but uh, I might have to look up the alternate endings on that. Uh, anyway, guys, this was fun. I enjoyed this one a lot, and uh, we've still got a few more days before the end of October. I'm going to see if it's possible if I could squeeze another horror game in. Um, if not, I'll move on to the next one that was on my list. Um, but I want to see. I'm going to see what I can do. So I'm not sure what's coming up next. Uh, you'll find out uh, uh, almost in sync with me. Almost in sync with me. But um, either way, I enjoyed this. If you liked this at all and you um, enjoyed any of it and you want to see more, um, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. I've got uh, tons of, of old videos and I've got new stuff coming out um, just about every single day. I, you know, all through the weekdays, uh, twice a day. And um, I hope to keep doing more stuff, man. I'm getting to try tons of new games that I've never played before, and it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, I don't theme everything, uh, but uh, I thought for Halloween, there's enough horror out there that we could we could squeeze some cool stuff in. Um, but yeah, join me, join me one more time um, for the rest of uh, October. We'll see if we can squeeze in another horror game. We will. If, it, uh, if it'll just be too long, I might just move on to the next thing. But... Uh, I'd say uh, three good horror games in the month of October is not too bad. Guys, thank you as always. I appreciate your time. I really do. And I hope to see you again soon. But until then, take care of yourselves.